Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Small Engines Questions and Answers for Friday, April 29th, 2011. My first question today is about older Johnson outboard motors. A YouTuber is asking me, what do you do when you have no spark on these older Johnson motors? Well, the first thing I do is I remove the flywheel, check the points, and oftentimes you're going to find that the coils on the older motors are all cracked. I don't have one to show you here, but you're going to notice as soon as you take the flywheel off, that the coils are all cracked. Usually there's gonna be two coils because they're two cylinder engines. Even if they're the small two horsepower engines, sometimes they still have two cylinders. And while you've got it all apart, you might as well replace the points, condensers, and both coils. They're not that expensive, and 99.9% .9 of the time, that will resolve your spark issues on your older Johnson outboard motors. Another question I've been getting lately is, how is it possible to have gas in the crankcase of my engine? For example, in your lawn tractor crankcase, your snowblower crankcase. So we're just talking about the four cycle engines here, not the two strokes. Well, what can cause your engine to be overfilled with oil in the crankcase is if it's ever been flooded. When it's flooded, all the gas goes right into the engine in the oil crankcase of the motor and fills up. So when you go to check your oil, you're gonna notice that the oil will be way above the fill mark. On this motor here, it's okay. But if your engine had been flooded, it could be way above, like a whole liter above even sometimes. And when it's overfilled like that, you can probably smell gas on the dipstick because the oil is full of gas as well. There's also the other possibility that somebody has overfilled your engine with oil. But most of the time, I find that it's because the engine's been flooded. And I find that this happens a lot on these lawn tractors with Briggs & Stratton engines. Especially the ones with the older engines like this, with the carbs like that. This can happen because sometimes the needle in the carb needs to be replaced. Now as soon as you realize that your crankcase is overfilled with oil and gas, you should drain it immediately. On this tractor, the plug's right here. Just drain it, let it drip for a while to make sure all the gas has come out. You may find that your engine will not run properly if the crankcase is half full with gas. And like I mentioned previously about the tractor, when you replace the needle in the carb, sometimes that will fix the problem. Also check that your float is still good in the carburetor. If it's taking on gas, it could cause your engine to flood and fill the crankcase with gas. In my next question, YouTubers are asking me how come sometimes the primer bulb on their lawnmower will not come back. This one's okay here, but I'm just gonna show you what can happen. Sometimes they'll push it in and it won't come back out. I see this more so happen on the Briggs & Stratton engines with these primer bulbs here. You'll push them in and they won't come back out. So what you do when that happens, you simply replace the primer bulb. If you have the lawnmower I just showed you, you're gonna need this primer bulb and it's number 694394 from Briggs. And if you have a lawnmower with a Tecumseh motor and your primer bulb looks like this one, and take note that this primer bulb here does not have a hole in it, so it's not vented, you're gonna need part number 36045A. And it comes with the clip here as well. And I do have a video that shows how to replace the primer bulb on your lawnmower with a Tecumseh and a Briggs & Stratton motor. And I'm going to post the links to these videos underneath this video here. YouTuber a while back was asking me if I could do videos on an MS-170 or 180 chainsaw. Well, I've got one here. It's an MS-170 or still 017. And I'm doing a carb rebuild on this one and a fuel line repair. And I am in the process of making videos for that, so you're going to see that soon on YouTube. Last question I'm going to answer today is a YouTuber is asking me how come he cannot adjust the carburetor on his grass trimmer properly. Probably what you need to do at this point is to replace the carb kit in the carburetor and possibly the primer bulb if it's cracked. Look on the back of the carb to see if it's a Zama or a Walbro or take the carburetor off, go to your small engine shop and match up a repair kit for your carburetor. Sometimes the diaphragms in your carburetor get stiff and they won't work properly. So no matter how hard you try to adjust your carburetor, it's never going to work. So replace the carb kit, it's cheap, and it may repair your problem. Well, this will be it for this week's episode of Small Engines Questions and Answers. Make sure to subscribe if you want to save yourself a lot of money. I also want to thank all the recent YouTubers who have subscribed to my channel. I also want to thank those who regularly watch my videos and comment as well. And I want to thank everybody for their support. Have yourselves a great weekend and we'll see you next Friday. Take care now.